How's it going, folks? My name is Bob Walters. I'm in charge of all things audio and video here at Millbrook United Methodist Church. It's been a while since I did a video dedicated to the things I'm working on here on campus, and I thought I'd share a little bit about what I've been up to and where we're headed around here. So first, let's take a look at last year. Where did we start and what did things look like at the end of the year? Well, at the end of 2021, the YouTube channel had 8,000 views, a little under 900 hours of watch time, and a total of 83 subscribers. So how did 2022 compare? Well, by the end of the year, we'd added another 13,500 views, 1,700 hours of watch time, and 68 subscribers. So that's a 67% increase in the number of views, a 93% increase in watch time, and an 82% bump in subscribers. And I gotta say, during a period of time, 2022, when people went from watching online to coming back into the church and worshiping in person, I think growth like that is pretty impressive. But enough numbers, let's talk about the changes we made last year. For instance, you may have noticed that in 2022, we added motion graphics to some of our announcement slides to make them a little more dynamic and interesting. Uh, we also added some B-roll to the announcements, just some video from around campus, including some pretty cool drone shots. I mean, look at that right there. You see how close I came to hitting that branch? In the sanctuary, we got the choir projector working and I was finally able to separate the video output going to the live stream and to the projector screens up there. So now people sitting in the congregation don't have to watch video of the pastor giving their sermon that doesn't sync up with the sound they're hearing in the room. You're welcome. I also went and looked up some ADA guidelines to update the text we put on the screen so it's bigger and a little easier for people to read. And back here in the control room in the sanctuary, we finally got things set up into a bit of a permanent configuration and turned the room into a fairly usable workspace. And I got a couch. It's very comfy. I like it a lot. In the prior Bradford, we swapped out the old incandescent stage lights with LEDs that consume less energy and produce less heat. And we improved the sound mix for the worship service. And in the youth building, we got the TVs hooked up in the ceiling so the youth group and Pueblo de Esperanza can use them to help in their ministries. So that's 2022. What's in store for 2023? The answer, in short, is to make more great stuff and keep growing our reach. We're able to make content with a level of professionalism that you won't find at many churches. And I want to try even more cool ideas with our pre-recorded stuff like the message from the pastor's videos, and I even have a whole bunch of other random ideas that I'm looking forward to trying if I can only find the time. And as I said earlier, I want to grow our online reach. Based on last year's numbers, I'm going to set our 2023 target at 20,000 new views, 2,500 hours of watch time, and another 100 subscribers to get us to a total of 250. Those are some lofty goals, but you can help us reach them by subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and clicking the thumbs up button when you watch a video so YouTube knows to recommend it to more people. And if you really like a video, make sure you share it with friends and family, because why hog all the fun for ourselves, right? Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for now. I'll try to share more behind the scenes stuff as we go along on a regular basis, but that's it. So from all of us here at Millbrook United Methodist Church, including myself and my buddy Nick, have a great week. We'll see you on Sunday.